Fox Weather's Nicole Valdez is in Jackson, Tennessee. She's there live, and getting to these scenarios can be very tricky because the storms themselves create obstacles. But where you're in that region, there is a flash flood emergency um, across western Tennessee. Nicole, what are you finding out? Well, Amy, I want to point out what you're looking at, the University of Memphis campus here in Jackson, Tennessee. Unfortunately, we've got quite a bit of lightning overhead right now, so my photographer and I are taking shelter in our car. Our camera is still out there giving you a view of all of the rain that we are have been getting here for the last hour or so, which is only going to create even more problems as that flood watch is in effect until uh, 1 p.m. Central Time. Uh, but we expect that that could really, uh, the risk there uh, could continue to increase as we're seeing a lot more rainfall here after what was already a lot of rain overnight. More than nine inches recorded here in Jackson, Tennessee in just the last 24 hours. Now I'll show you some video of our journey from Nashville over to Jackson, Tennessee. And what you're looking at is I-40 uh, heading westbound. You'll see just how heavy the rain was coming down there. Visibility uh, really tough at, at several points during our journey over, uh, which is just again a reminder that if you are making a drive during uh, that kind of storm, it is important to really try to take it slow. And if you don't feel safe, pulling over is probably going to be your best bet with just how much water we were seeing. Amy, I'll tell you, driving around the Jackson, Tennessee area, these creeks are getting filled up pretty quickly and the water is rushing through them, especially in those lower lying areas throughout the city here as we are uh, surrounded by several rolling hills. So all that water starts to head uh, further down and that's where we start to see uh, the flash flooding uh, really start to create an impactful situation, so it could start to really be an impact on roadways here soon, uh, again, depending on how much more rain we get. Uh, but lightning has also been part of the concern. Some video from Dyer County uh, showing some of that terrifying footage there, an electric situation there, and several roads we know have already started to flood over. Uh, and again, as that watch remains in effect for the next several hours here, you're looking now live at, at the rain falling here in Jackson. Uh, we know just north of us, Union City already dealing with a flash flood emergency and those evacuations, Amy. Uh, so that's something that we could continue to see really play out throughout the afternoon. It's a tough scenario. Glad to see you staying safe. And that's a reminder to everybody. I hear the rumbles of thunder there with you, Nicole. Sheltering in the car, safe place to be because being inside the car, even if lightning strikes nearby, you are safe in that spot. You don't want to shelter under a tree instead, inside a vehicle or inside a building. Thanks for your report. Nicole Valdez will be with you in western Tennessee throughout the morning. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.